Yeah, Blummer, uh, Javier was down at the alternate site. This is his first big league start in a couple of weeks, but that was all by design, we understand. David Fletcher, Shohei Otani, and Mike Trout for the visiting Angels. The strikeout for Javier. Two strikeouts start the game for Christian Javier. Pretty nasty changeup. I'm actually kind of curious to see this matchup between Christian Javier, who has that good fastball in the upper portion of the zone. Jared Walsh has the reputation of being very good on hitting the fastball and driving it. He gets a lot of swings underneath. Just like that. Three strikeouts, nothing comes to the two out walk underway in Houston tonight. It's Alex Cobb on the mound for the third time as an Angel. 33 year old right hander going back to work on Alex Bregman now who takes the first pitch out to right field and drops it in for a base hit and here's Jordan Alvarez. No. Or was it and one that just caught too much of the plate. First and third with two gone. Whoa. So a little two out micro rally developing here for Houston now it's Yuli Gurriel. I lost him with another knuckle curve. And that has loaded the bases. Huge opportunity for Kyle Tucker. There's one, a good one that he makes Tucker swing over the top of. So the strikeout gets him out of a bases loaded two out jam. We go to the second scoreless in Houston. Christian Javier issued a two out walk in the first, but did register three strikeouts. And that's four strikeouts for Javier. Two gone and five strikeouts for Christian Javier. Christian Javier mixing a ground out, dude. All six via the swinging strikeout. Ledmus Diaz hooks the ball into left field, and that'll bound up against the corner. First extra base hit of the night. Oh, and Diaz is able to stay on the bag. What the Mary Lou Retton is going on out there. Top of the file for why you have to stretch to play pro sports kids. And here's Miles Straw now. Sharply hit past the third baseman Rojas into the corner. That's going to get Diaz around to score. Miles Straw driving in the first run of the night and it's one nothing Astros. A ball into the short left field corner that he turns into a triple. Two balls and two strikes to Correa. And a ground ball that trickles through the infield and allows Straw to score easily. Boy, that's a two strike count that just got away from Cobb. Big plate appearance here for Yuli Gurriel. The Astros would love to take further advantage of what has been an inning where their runners on base throughout. If base is loaded. Here's the 3 2 pitch. And he just missed with the split change. Man, didn't miss by much. And RBI for Guriel is team leading 9 3 0 Astros. Kyle Tucker, a strikeout victim to end the first. And that's lined into shallow right where Fletcher had him played perfectly to avoid any further damage. And Suzuki finally succumbs to the strikeout. That's seven for Javier. Here's David Fletcher. <laughs> and Fletcher chases to strike out. Oh, there we go. Boy, that's a ball that's four inches in on his hands. And, and Carlos Correa lines it into center. Well, bloops it into center for an RBI base hit. What a fine job at the plate by Carlos Correa. Four nothing Astros. Boy, this is played right into Dusty Baker's hands now. Brantley, the runner at second after his sixth double of the year already. Bregman lines that into left field, and the whole thing is blown up. Two runs will score, and the Astros take a commanding 6 0 lead. Oh, oh, last year. oh, man, he got hit in the elbow, and I don't know that that got him. There's no pad there, I don't think. Yeah, he has a little protection there right around the tricep area, but that looked like it got him right in the elbow. Aye. Aye. Dude, I thought it was a slider, dude. Oh, really? Dude, I can't pick up the ball here, though.
stuff is his stuff looks like that too. I think some of the IPs. Yeah. Oh, and one the count to Miles Straw. Ooh, Michael Bourne. Very fast. On the ground, hot shot for Rojas. Recovers and gets Diaz at second. But scoring easily from third is Kyle Tucker, and it's 7 0 Houston. Mike Trout has come out of the ball game after being hit in the elbow a couple of innings ago. Tried to stick around. Scott Shebler has taken over in center field for him. The Angels are calling it a left elbow contusion, and as painful as that word may be, it's certainly better than the alternative. Here's Alex Bregman now. He's been on base in all three of his plate appearances tonight. Two singles, and he was hit by a pitch in the second. Add another base hit. Man, he and Correa are going nuts at the top of this order. Carlos is going to score, and the Astros are on the board again. Pools to right field. That's got a chance if it stays fair, and that one's gone. Albert Pujols to the opposite field to get the Angels on the board in the sixth. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All boundary calls are reviewable. Yeah, it's going to stand. You know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got to feel good to get back home in front of their home fans, hear the cheering, and to put up a big number here at home. They haven't done that yet this year. That'll do it with an exclamation point and a 95 mile an hour fastball. Ryan Presley remains perfect to start the year. And the Astros post an 8 to 2 victory at home. Congratulations to Dusty Baker. We talked about how he was on the doorstep of the 1900 club. He enters access tonight. 14th on the all time wins list with his 1900th managerial win tonight.